Hi everyone, welcome to our course. My name is Lam Yuan, your professional Chinese teacher. Today our course is about resume. This one is very important for living in China or you're going to find a job here. Anyway, if you're interested in our course, don't forget to subscribe our channel, go through our website, and if you have any suggestion, just comment below. Anyway, let's start our course today. So first of all, we have to learn these two new characters. Jian Li. Jian Li. It means resume. So literally, the first character means concise, simple. And Li means experience. So um, your simple experience is on this paper, it means resume. And here, 个人简历, 个人 means individual, so this is someone's resume. And then there's some basic information, 基本资料, 基本 means basic, 基, 基本, 本, these two characters both have the meaning of fundamental and basic. 基本, and 资料 means information. 基本资料, read after me. 基本资料, 基本资料, and here name, 姓名, 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 read after me, 姓名, and gender, 性别, 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 and age, 年龄, both second term, 年龄, 年龄, and then height, 身高, 身高, both flat and read after me, 身高, and then date of birth, we have learned this before, I think, 出生日期, 出生日期, 出生 means birth, 日期, date, 日期, we learned this before, yeah, and interest, hobbies, 兴趣,爱好, both forced them. 兴趣 means like an interest. 爱好, the same as this one. So these two words are the same. 兴趣 and 爱好, both means your interest. But um, we are used to put these two together. 兴趣,爱好, 兴趣,爱好. A native place, um, 习惯, where you're born. 习惯, 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 special skill, 个人特长. In fact, here it is personal special skill. You can just use 特长, but sometimes in the form it is written 个人特长. 个人, 个人 means individual, personal. 特长, 特长, special, 长 means good at something, 特长, and then ethnic, ethnic group, 民族, 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 and then education background, 学历, we have learned that 学 means study, 历 means experience, so it's the experience of your study is education background, 学历, right after me, 学历, 学历, and language skill, 语言能力, 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 语言 means language, 语, third term, 言, second term, 语言, 能力 means your skill or capability, 能, second term, 力, fourth term, 语言能力, and then major, 专业, 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 专, flat turn, 业, fourth turn, 专业, and, and alma mater, 毕业院校, 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 毕业 means graduate, and 院校 means school, so the school that you graduated from, 毕业院校, and then health status, 健康状况, 健, fourth term, 康, flat term, 健康状况, both fourth term, 健康状况, and then marital status, 婚姻, we have learned this before, 状况, 
So 状况 means status, situation. So 婚姻状况 marital status. 婚姻状况 And then cell phone number, 手机号码手机号码手机 means cell phone. 号码 means number. 手机号码 And contact information, 联系方式联系方式，联系 means contact， 方式 means um method. So it is contact information, um like your um QQ or WeChat, which is very famous in China, and or your Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. Those are all contact information, contact method, 联系方式 and then address where you live. 住址，住址，住址。Fourth tone, then third tone. 住址 ，and then work experience. 工作经历，工作经历。工作 means work. 经历 means experience. 工作经历，工作经历。And then current position. 担任职务。担任 means that you are handle. 职务 means um、uh, occupation. So what are you doing right now? 担任职务 current position. 担任职务 And 或讲情况 um 情况 here means situation. And 或讲 means you get reward. So scholarship and rewards. 或讲情况或讲情况或讲情况，或讲情况 ，and then certificate， 证书，证书，证书 ，read after me， 证 ，first tone， 书 ，flat tone， 证书 ，and then the position that you're applied for， 应聘职位，应聘职位，应聘 means apply， 职位 means position。应聘职位 ，and then 人力资源部 means HR department. 人力资源 means HR, human 人力，力 means um the labor. So 人力 means human here. 资源 resources, 部 department. 人力资源部 Read after me. 人力资源源 second 部 fourth. 人力资源部 ，HR department. So this is the course day. There are so many different expression and characters. I hope you guys can do some review, please. And if you're interested in our class, don't forget to subscribe our channel, go through our website, and if you have any suggestions, just comment below. And don't forget to check the homework today. Bye.